How do you know it's late October? Well, the leaves are finally starting to turn. There's a certain crispness in the air, and the Wofford Terriers control their own destiny. Today at Gibbs Stadium, Chattanooga comes to town. Of course, the Mocs unbeaten in conference play. This is the first of four conference tests the Terriers have to see if they can really make some noise in the stretch run here in the conference, and perhaps later on, start thinking about that conference three-peat. We got to do a great job today, guys, of, of being detail-oriented within all your guys' job. You understand that? Yes, D-linemen, okay, on defense. Yes, we understand in linebackers on the front side of outside zone. We got to do a great job of staying square. We got to put a knife in it, correct? The backside guys have got to do a tremendous job of running the heels and getting that thing where there's no space, there's no creases. You guys understand that? Yeah. That's got to be done on defense. Offensively, O-line, okay? You've got to control the double teams, okay? You've got to make them displaced, all right, on the double teams. Get them moved on the line of scrimmage. Hold those double teams, dominate the line of scrimmage, and then running backs, okay, when those gaps open, when you see space, pads down and hit it extremely fast, okay? Third down, defensive backs, all right? You guys have got to play the situation. Yeah. Understand the situation and understand when it's time to crank down, tighten on routes. When we're playing off, we got to get back, all right, the ball back to the offense, okay? Early on, offensively, make sure we grind out those first downs. Maybe third and three, maybe third and four, all right? Be ready to go for it on fourth down. 39, first and 10, Mox, quick snap in the shotgun. Tiana looking to throw again. This time he goes down the seam, and he's got Nunnally. Down the middle, 30, 20, 10, touchdown Chattanooga. Two wide receivers to the bottom of the screen. Now Van Cleve goes in motion to the top. Fake handoff to him. Allen gets a good cut up the field across the 31st down. And Tiana will roll to his left and try to throw. That one's intercepted. Jira Wilson plucks it out of the air. He's across midfield. 40 down inside the 35-yard line. Jira Wilson stops the mock drive in its tracks. Newman's back to pass. Rolling to his right. Got plenty of room. Short pass. And he's got wide open his tight end. Down the field, Garrison Moore takes it inside the five yard line. Newman has Walker and Morgan. Moore, Walker, close to the goal line. Did he stretch it across? He did. Touchdown, Terriers. Nathan Walker from two yards out. Second and one from the Wofford 49. Deep down the left sideline, and it's complete. Snaring it out of the air in a long gain all the way down to about the 20 yard line. The backfield, he's not known for his blitz pickup. As Tiano, little shovel pass to James, and it works out well. He's inside the 10, he's down the sideline. He dives for the pylon, did he get it? Touchdown, Chattanooga. Newman hands it off, Morgan has a crease and cuts it up. First down and more, 50, 40. Blake Morgan on the run, big play Blake. Can he take it the whole way? Pushed out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Looks to the sideline. Now settles in in the shotgun. Running to the right, Joe on the keeper. He is going to stretch it across for the touchdown. Joe Newman looked like he was stopped. Instead, touchdown Terriers were a point away from being tied up. Third and seven from the 37. Tiano back to pass. This time he's pressured, has to get it off early, and it's knocked away. Almost intercepted. Four, we'll call it. Just trying to get some room in doing so. Nice run. Is that Lovelace out across the 20, 25? Carrying Mox all the way out to the 27 yard line. Ford steps up even with Tiano now and he will take it again. He's got the first down, breaks loose. Saving tackle as Ford got out to the 45 yard line. James goes to the left side of the formation. Tiano's back to throw. Steps up, avoids pressure, can't avoid the second wave. And in there for the sack is Joe Beckett. In the first half, this time Tiano's back to throw. James has to pick up the blitz and still pressure. But the ball is knocked away. Is it intercepted? It is. And Newman is in the shotgun. Morgan goes to his right. He's the pitch man, but Joe's going to keep it. Has the crease. First down, Joe Newman steps out of bounds in front of the Chattanooga bench after a gain of nine yards and a Wofford first down. Wofford looking to go ahead. Two running backs, Morgan and Walker behind Newman, who's rolling to his left. Joe's going to keep it, looking for the corner. Inside the five, dives, touchdown, Terriers. Joe Newman from 10 yards out, and Wofford leads for the first time today.
Nine for 10 after the Newman run. They give us to Walker. He spins after initial contact, and I don't know if he got it. Chattanooga thinks they stopped him. Piano takes a snap, looks to throw, and he's hit and slung down for the sack. How about the blitz from Robbie Armstrong, the senior, with the big play on D. Tiana will go back to pass, looking right long down the sideline, and he's got a man, and this time Henderson. Tiano to Ford, plows it into the pile. Oh, it's a trick play. Tiano has it, and he's going to be in the end zone. Tiano kept the ball. Oh, wow. Tiano hands, rolls it to his right, keeps it. Another great ball fake, and the quarterback has a first down into Wofford territory. Second and 11. Tiano's back to pass. Plenty of time, steps into a throw, and he rifles a completion down to the 20. As Ford gets a hit off, he's got run off the right side. He'll get 10, 5, touchdown Chattanooga. Oh, Knuckler, and that, oh, it is it going to go out of bounds? It oh, will. Yeah. That's a break for Wofford right there. Her own 40. Another drop back to pass, another short pass. It's complete, first down up the sideline. Landon Parker, he's knocked out of bounds in Chattanooga territory. He got 13 yards on third and five and a big pickup for Wofford. Newman back to pass again, looking right to the sideline. That's complete, circling back is Parker. Diving ahead for a gain of about eight. The ball game on the line, fourth and 10. Newman's in the shotgun. He's gonna drop back and pass again. Steps up in the pocket, throws, it's complete. First down. Joe threw a strike to Landon Parker who picked it up, inches off the turf, down seven. Newman back to pass. Joe goes short right, complete to Luther. Gets to the middle of the field. Ted tries to go across the formation down to about the six. Puts Van Cleve in motion. Hands it to him, Van Cleve. Sheds a tackle inside the five. Did he get the pylon? Touchdown, Terriers. Unbelievable effort by DeMaurier Van Cleve. Six to end it. Well, Tiano's dropping back to throw. He's got to hold on to that football and he'll be sacked. You want to, you hope you try to strip the football situation by that. Beckley was there, Wilson was there, and they're just gonna let the seconds tick off. And guess what, folks? The first overtime game of the year. He's gotta pick it up. And then he picks up the football, and he's got room on the right side. Newman, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Terriers. Joe Newman on the first play of overtime hits pay dirt for 12. Ford to the right side, cuts back in, knocks down a man inside the five, down to the two yard line, inside the two, maybe got to the one. Tiano claps his hands. He's gonna hand off to Ford who is in for the mock touchdown. Two point conversion, Tiano in the shotgun. He'll get the snap, looking to throw. Plenty of time, rolling out, flings it, it's dropped, oh. dropped! Wofford wins! Terriers win, Reginald Henderson had it in his hands and could not hold on. Bedlam here at Gibbs Stadium. You guys understand something, all right? You guys won that game. Yes. 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 All right, players win games. And there ain't nobody, nobody I'd rather go to war with, go to battle with, than you guys. Yes. 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 You got oh, yeah. heart, all right? You got fight. Yeah. Aren't you damn glad you're at Wofford College? Uh, I guess now that everybody's heart rate has recovered, what kind of effort, what kind of character check, what kind of gut check was that for this football team on both sides of the football team? Well, I mean, it's, I mean, obviously the magnitude of the game, which every, all the guys knew, you know, going into it. I mean, we talked about we have, we have four Southern Conference championship games in front of us. I mean, that's what this is, right? And, you know, I mean, they played like that at the end. Um, and, you know, I'm, I, I give a lot of credit, obviously, to Chattanooga because I felt like they did a lot of great things schematically, offensively, and defensively. They made us work for it um, as coaches. And then, obviously, the players had to execute it, which they did. Um, but it's unbelievable. It's an unbelievable win for our program. And it just says from where we were at at 0-2 and to win a game like that with this type of magnitude, um, I think the Wofford fans should be really proud of these guys, of these players. Two minutes and eight seconds on the clock when you began that that drive that eventually tied it up. You now have an offense that can score, that can drive down the field in two minutes and eight seconds. What did you see in that offensive drive? What did you see from those guys that made you knew or made you know that that was going to end up the right way? 
Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you ever think that's how it's going to end up. You know, we, we practice that situation every Thursday night. Um, we have some type of two-minute situation that we come up with, how many timeouts. Usually it's before the half, not the end of the game. Um, but, you know, they come in, and, and here they go. I mean, and, and they come in, and they rep it, and they run it. Um, you know, Joe's even talked about I probably missed two or three guys that were wide open that would have maybe even put the dagger in a little bit sooner. But um, he made the plays when he had to. Um, and I think – just the little things that guys don't see, like the block on the perimeter when Damari Van Cleve scored on the power read. I mean, Josh Lifson and J.L. Hill, I mean, it was a Herculean effort in the, for him to get in the end zone. So those are the things that you just make you proud as a coach. Final question. What were you thinking when they lined up to go for two and go for the win? It's really interesting. Um, I don't know if they do that if we hadn't scored on the very first play of overtime. I don't know if they thought – Maybe we had figured something out or we had seen something. and um, But, you know, I, I think early on in the week he talked about playing with house money, and they felt like, shoot, they didn't expect to be here this time of year. Um, and so he goes for two. And, um, you know, we, we had the check to what they were doing, um, the initial read, and then it turned into kind of back, backyard football, and that one he dropped in the backyard. So <laughs> um, we'll, we'll, we'll take it and we'll get away with a win. and, and um, I'm really proud of our guys. You look like you went through a war, and it, it, it was. They, I thought Chattanooga schemed you guys pretty well for a while. Was it? Was there frustration building, or did you think you had a chance? You, did you know what was going on, and it was just a matter of executing? Um, definitely both. You know, um, we always, always want to, you know, stick to the basics and execute those. But, um, you know, there was a bit of frustration, you know, throughout the game. And um, I think that's why we had to get back to executing and, you know, kind of staying level, you know, me included, myself. So, um, yeah, that, that's just a, that's a great win there. That's what does that last drive, two minutes and eight seconds on the clock, and you guys drive the length of the field and tie it up and put it in overtime, what does that say about this team? Um, it says we're well prepared for one. You know, we, we do this every week. You know, two minutes is something that we work on and we, we, we spend time doing every week. So, um, you know, that, that definitely gave us a lot of confidence going into that situation. So, um, you know, like I said, we just try, just want to trust what we see and execute, you know, stick to the basics, not, not get too riled up about the situation. And for you personally, Joe, you get the tying touchdown, you, you, you levitate and somehow stay off the ground and get the ball across the goal line. And then the first play of overtime, you just blow around the corner and, and hit pay dirt. Those two plays, those, that's what a quarterback dreams of, right? Uh, yeah, you know, and it just so happened to work out that way, um, you know, with the play call and what the defense gave us. And um, like I said, I was just playing fast, and he gave me the lane instead of, you know, the pitch guy. So I just kind of hit it, and it turned out to be a great play. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. It's going through your mind. Let's get right to it. The two-point conversion, they decide to go for the win. What are you thinking? I'm just thinking, like, it's game time. Like, we have to go win right now. Like, there's no more plays. This is the last one for both teams. So, now's the time to win it. You guys probably could have folded at several times throughout this game. And I give Chattanooga a lot of credit for the way they came out and, and attacked you guys. What was the feeling on the sideline in terms of this game being key to everything that you guys want to accomplish later on in the year? Mm -hmm. So, our coach preached to us all week that we have four conference championship games. And this is the first one. So we knew that if we lost today, that it, our season was not going to end the way that we wanted to. So when we, when we were down and out, we decided it was time to fight instead of fold. You guys are playing a lot of guys on defense right now. The depth is amazing. You guys are shuttling guys in and out. How much fun is it to play on a defense like this? Oh, it's fun because, you know, you believe in the guy that, like, plays your position with you. You're going to come out energized. Everybody's got juice. It's a, it's a great defense to play in for sure. How did you guys manage that, especially that last drive in regulation that put this into overtime? Um, I felt like we did some pretty good things. We had to uh, keep it on the ground a lot throughout the, the second half, a little bit more than we have been doing the uh, last couple games. But um, I feel like what we were doing, you know, the um, just the options and uh, this, the different things that we were doing, the outside zones, they were uh, opening up a lot of the things that we got to do during the two minute in that in that fourth quarter. So, what type of a gut check? character building win is this for this team uh it's definitely gut checking but i feel like uh everything we do it just prepares for that moment you know, we the last three weeks we uh every thursday we do like a two-minute drill during practice so it's everything that we built for
all you control your own destiny. Everything that you guys want still there. Uh, it's definitely still there, right out in front of us. We just got to keep working, um, just stay humble, and just go out and get it. Usually at the end of these segments, we concentrate on numbers. How many yards gained? What did Wofford rush for? Forget all that right now. The only thing that matters is a W. 35-34 in overtime. Wofford now in the driver's seat of the Southern Conference at 3-1. and And how about the road the rest of the way at Clemson? next weekend then a trip down to mercer and back home here against Furman. the next three weeks could tell us an awful lot about what this year has in store for your wofford terriers for inside wofford football i'm jim noble